is an audio book of interchange english grammar and composition of class 9 chapter 19 part 4 scene text 10 page number 155 making plans and expressing intentions read the following poem and do the fo- activities that follow title the rivals I heard a bird at dawn singing sweetly on a tree that the dew was on the lawn and the wind was on the lea but I didn't listen to him for he didn't sing for me I didn't listen to him for he didn't sing to me that the dew was on the lawn and the wind was on the lea I was singing at the time just as prettily as he I was singing at the time as prettily as he about the dew upon the lawn and the wean wind upon the lea so i didn't listen to him as he sang upon the tree poet is james stephens about the poet james stephens um stephens 9 february 1882 to 26 december 1950 was an irish novelist and poet James' mother worked in the home of the Collins family of Dublin and was adopted by them. He attended school with his adopted brothers Thomas and Richard, Tom and Dick, before graduating as a solicitor's clerk. They competed and won several athletic competitions. Despite James' slight stature, he stood four uh, feet ten inch in his socks. He was known affectionate, affectionately as Tiny Tim. He was much enthralled uh, by tales of military valor of his adoptive family and would have been a soldier except for his height. By the early 1900s, uh, James was increasingly inclined to socialism and the Irish language and by 1912 was a dedicated Irish Republican. He spoke and wrote Irish. This brought a schism, S C I S C H I S M with his adopted family James Stephens uh, produced many retellings of Irish myths and fairy tales his retellings are marked by a rare combination of humor and lyricism dear day dre d e i r d r e and irish irish fairy tales are often specially praised he also wrote several original novels crock of gold it's or in a uh, moonlight demi gods based loosely on irish fairy tales crock of gold in particular achieved enduring popularity and was reprinted frequently throughout the author's lifetime stephens begin began his career as a poet with the tutelage um t u t e l a g e of a e um george william russell His first book of poems Insurrections uh, was published in 1909. His last book Kings and the Moon 1938 was also a volume of verse. During the 1930s Stephen has had some acquaintance with James Joyce who found that they shared a birth year and Joyce mistakenly believed a birthday. Joyce wa- who was concerned with with his ability to finish what later became Finnegan's Wake F F I N N E G A N S proposed that Stephens assist him with the authorship credited to J J N S James Joyce and Stephens also a pun for the popular Irish whis- whiskey made by John John Jameson and Sons. The plan, however, was never implemented as Joyce was able to complete the work on his own. During the last decade of his life, Stephens found a new audience through a series of broadcasts on the BBC. One of the leading figures of the Irish literary renaissance, R E N A I S S A N C E, Stephens is best known for his fanciful and highly colored prose writing. The Crock of Gold 1912, The Demigods 1914, Irish Fairy Tales 1920, Deirdre D E I R D R E 1923. and in the land of youth 1924 in these works and other he made vivacious v i v a c i o u s use of irish le- legend and for- folklore his first volume of poetry insurrections appeared in 1909 
Later volumes include uh, Songs from the Clay, 1915, and Kings and the Moon, 1938. Possessed of a superb uh, speaking voice, he gave many recitations of his poetry and, in later years, lectured on the radio. An Irish poet, playwright, and author, James Stephens, uh, was born on February 2, 1882. Some sources indicate February 9, 1880, in Dublin, Ireland, and died December 26, 1950, in London, England. An Irish poet, playwright, and author, as a passionate um, uh, P A T I O N A T E nationalist, Stephens incorporated Irish folk folklore into his work. In 1907 A E, George Russell introduced Stephens to the concept of theosophy, T H E O S O F uh, S O P H Y, T E T H E O S O P H Y. During the 1920s, he met and became good friends with James Joyce. Among his works are Insurrections, 1909, The Charwoman's Daughter, 1912, The Demigods, 1914, Deirdre, 1923, and In the Land of Youth, 1924. Show what you know. A. Find the similar meaning to the following words. Persons who complete with another. Opponent. The First Day of Light. Daybreak, open field, attractively, charmingly, beautifully, small drops of water which form on the ground at night, green grassy park area, air current, light breeze, grassland meadow, listened, because. B. From the poem, find the words that are opposite in meaning to the following words, colleagues, Ignore, dusk or twilight, sunset, bitterly, unpleasantly, empty, against. C. Find the words in the poem which rhyme with the words below. Dawn, tree, me. D. Choose and copy the best answer. A. The poet heard a bird singing at daybreak, in the evening, in the afternoon. Choose from three. B. The bird was singing on the tree, one at dawn, two at midday, three at night. C. The poet or writer didn't listen to the bird because, one, he had no time, two, the bird didn't sing for him, three, he was deaf. D. At the moment, the writer was, one, reading, two, sleeping, three, singing. E. The dew was, one, on the meadow, two, uh, on the roof, Three on the lawn. F. The poet was singing about one the dew upon the lee. Two the bird. W uh, three the lee. G. The rivals are one the dew and the lee. Two the poet or writer and the bird. Three the tree and the bird. E. Answer the following questions. A. Where was the bird singing? Why? B. Where were dew and wind? C. Why didn't the poet or writer listen to the bird? D. What was the bird doing at the dawn? E. Who were the rivals? F. Why doesn't the poet like the bird's song? G. What did the bird sing about? H. What was the poet doing at the time? I. Do you think the person in the poem is an adult or a child? Y. J. What is the poem about? K. What is the poet talking about? Uh, uh, L. Do you think the title is suitable? Scene text 11. Making offers and responding to them. Read the dictionary entries below and do the activities that follow. Guru. Noun. 1. A Hindu or Sikh religious teacher or leader. 2. Uh, informal. A person who is an expert or on a particular subject and who is very good at some doing something. A management, health, or fashion guru. Jean-Paul Sartre was the guru of post-war French philosophy. Mastery. Noun, number one, uncountable, singular, of something. Great knowledge about or understanding of a particular thing. She has mastery of several languages. The orchestra is unrivaled in terms of technical mastery and sheer vitality. 2. Uncountable. 
off over somebody or something. Control or power. Human mastery of the natural world. He struggled for mastery over his emotions. Show what you know. Number one, read the dictionary entries again and answer the following questions. A. Which word class uh, does the word guru fall in? B. What is the pronunciation of mastery according to British English? Write the phonetic symbols. C. What do uh, name and BRE stands for? D. What do somebody or something stand for? Uh, sorry, I'll repeat. What do SB or STH stand for? E. How many meanings does the word guru have? F. Make a sentence using the word mastery. Scene text 12. Giving instructions and describing purpose. Read the text below and do the activities that follow. Email. Electronic mail is uh, most commonly referred to as email or e-mail. Email generally refers to a method of exchanging digital messages from a sender to one or more recipient. It is distributed by electronic means from one computer user to one or more recipients via a network. It is claimed that people started sending and receiving email from 1993. However, it has recently been popular in our country. Today's email systems are based on a store and forward model. Email servers accept, forward, deliver, and store messages. Neither the users nor their computers are required to be online simultaneously. They need to connect to a server for as long as it takes to send, receive messages. Thus, an email is an information and communication technology. In this technology, users use email differently, based on how they think about it. There are many software platforms available to send and receive messages. Popular email platforms include Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, Mail, Outlook, and many others. This is adapted from the Wikipedia page of email. Creating an email ID. Let us learn about creating a new email ID and or email address using Gmail. You have to follow the following instructions. First, open a web browser, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Mozilla, etc. Write in the address bar www.gmail.com. Now click on Create an Account. After clicking on Create an Account button, you will get a window image below with Create your Google account. Fill in all the details. Here, the username is the desired user ID which you want to create. After filling in all the details, click on Next Step button. After Next Step, it will ask for phone number for verification. Enter your cell phone number and click on Continue button. Now your ID is almost created. There is an option for uploading your image. Upload your image. Finally, click on the Next Step button and you will get your inbox on the screen. Congratulations, you have created your new Gmail ID. Use it to exchange message, documents, image, etc. Show what you know. A. Find the words that are similar to the following. Eventually, gain, lately, fashionable, dispatch, gave out, through. B. Find the words that are opposite to the following. Receiver, get, give, unpopular, Reject, similarly, gathered in. C. Match the following. Uh, claimed, electronic, be online, communication, simultaneously. Now match these words with concurrently, the act of sharing information with people, rating to computers, uh, relating to computers or something that is done by computers, said that something is true, to be able to use email or the internet. D. Solve the following crossword puzzle using the hints given. Across. 2. Making certain that something is correct or true. 4. The type of computer system you are using. In connection with the type of software equals to computer programs you can use on it. 5. Facts about a situation, person, event, etc. Down. 1. 
something that you say when you want to praise someone about a special or unusual, unusual achievement. 3. Showing information in the form of an electronic display. E. Answer the following questions. A. What is an email? B. When did people start using email? C. What is needed to send and receive an email? D. What are the popular email platforms in use today? E. What do people do with an email ID? F. Do you have your personal email ID? If yes, which email platform are you using? Scene text 13, giving instruction and describing purpose. Read the text below and do the activities that follow. Some useful gadgets and implements. Look at the pictures, read the descriptions below and number the pictures matching them with the correct one. 1. A microwave oven, commonly known as a microwave, is a kitchen appliance. This machine is for heating and cooking food by exposing it to e electromagnetic radiation inside the microwave spectrum. 2. Pliers are pincers, P-I-N-C-A-R-S, with parallel, flat and typically serrated surfaces, S-E-R-R-A-T-E-D. A pair of pliers is used chiefly for gripping small objects. 3. A screwdriver is a manual or powered tool. It is used for turning screws. A typical screwdriver has a handle and a shaft, S-H-A-F-T, and a tip that the user inserts into the screw head to turn it. 4. A mobile phone, also known as cellular phone or cell phone, is as uh, a phone is a phone that is meant for making and receiving telephone calls over uh, a radio link while moving around a wide geographic area. It works by connecting to a cellular network provided by a mobile phone operator, allowing access to the to the public telephone network. Five. A saw is a tool used to cut wood or other items. It can be of various shapes and sizes and worked by hand or machinery, consisting essentially of a thin bla blade or disc of metal, usually steel, the edge of which is a series sharp teeth. 6. A dishwasher. A dishwasher is a mechanical device for cleaning dishes and utensils. Dishwashers can be found in restaurants and private kitchens. Unlike manual dishwashing, the mechanical dishwashers clean the loaded dishes by spraying hot water over them. 7. Scissors are hand-operated shearing tools. They consist of a pair of metal blades pivoted so that the sharpened edge slide against each other when the handles opposite to the pivot are closed. A pair of scissors is meant for cutting anything like clothes, paper, hair, etc. 8. A flash drive, also known under a variety of other names like pen drive or jump drive, is a data storage device that includes flash memory with an integrated universal serial bus USB interface. Flash drives are typically removable and write rewritable. USB flash drives are for storage, data backup, and transfer of computer files. They are small, portable, durable, and reliable because they have no moving parts. Show what you know. A. Find the words that are similar to the following words. Beneficial, mainly, done with hands, recognized, changing, normally, diverse, equipments. B. Find the words that are opposite to the following words. Outside, useless, large, unusual, unreliable, thick, similar. C. Solve the following crossword puzzle using the hints given below. Across, two, consisting of small compartments or rooms. Three, small devices or machines with a particular purpose. Six, tools which work by being moved by hand or by being pulled across a surface. Eight, a range of waves such as light waves or radio waves. Down, one, tools with a particular use, especially in a kitchen or house. Four, a fixed uh, point supporting something which turns or balances. Five, a device, machine, or piece of equipment, especially an electrical one that is used in the house. 
7. Having a row of sharp point along the edge. D. Answer the following questions. A. What is micro oven? B. What are pliers used? C. What is the primary use of screwdriver? D. What is used for making and receiving calls? E. How does a mobile phone work? F. What is used for cleaning dishes and utensils? G. Write the functions of scissors and a saw. H. What are flash drives used for?